Hey everybody, Keep My Five Alive back again. Uh, today I'm going to do a real simple video. We're going to test out some fuel cubes. These are Esbit brand. Got these from, uh, I believe these came from Bass Pro Shops. They are the same kind of fuel cubes you use in these little, these little uh, survival type stoves. Uh, I have tried one of the fuel cubes that came with it. One of them would not boil two cups of water. Uh, so today we're going to try again. I'm going to try to see what two do. I did not get a good video last time or I would show you that. And I'm also going to try one and then if necessary two of these. See which one gives me the uh, better boil on two cups of water. Most, most of the time it seems like these re, uh, dehydrated, freeze dried foods take one to two cups of water. So I'm going to focus on two. Figuring that maybe it will be more than one person and you'll need two cups of water. So let's get right to it and uh, see what will boil two cups of water. Here we go. Alright, so I also will be judging these on difficulty of lighting. So uh, I already know these are, are a little difficult to light. But uh, let's see if I have better luck this time. Today is a good kind of simulation day for an uh, outdoor scenario because it is, it is a little breezy today. Rather windy. And uh, this will give us you know kind of adverse conditions that you might experience using something like this of course i'm testing it so i can take it with the boy scouts and do some camping and uh our well day hiking for now we'll do camping later but uh i just want to make sure that i'll be able to boil water with it if i need to you know uh it is in i do have one of in my one of these in my bug out bag uh, not this one, obviously, but uh, I want to know if it'd work for that situation, too. So, let's see what happens. We'll do a little time lapse here, see how it goes. They only last for about eight minutes, so we're going to check in on it again in eight minutes. All right, so we're right at about eight minutes into the boil, and you can see that it has, the fuel cube is out, and it has not technically boiled. It got a little bit of what you might call a simmer. But I want to see that good hard boil that we need to uh, guarantee that we're safely boiling water because you never know where you're getting your water from, right? We need to uh, make sure that that comes to a good hard boil. So what we're going to do is put another cube in there and put the water right back on it. And uh, hopefully we can get a boil this time, the kind of boil we want to see. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if I can quickly get this lit. These are a little bit of a pain to light, and you can't tell when they're lit sometimes. But boy, you feel the heat coming off of it. You know that if you've, if you've mistaken that it's not lit, you can definitely tell. All right, so there we got it lit. Put it back on there, see what happens. All right, so we're three minutes and 10 seconds into the second cube and we have a ro roaring boil rolling boil sorry about that uh, that is what you want to see so that's what some people say you just need to bring water boiling some people say it should boil for three minutes so let's see if it will continue to boil for three minutes it should we got uh we got plenty of time left on that cube they burn for eight to nine minutes so let's see what happens All right, so we got about 10 seconds to go till three minutes and as you can see it's still boiling away so that passes that test that would be good safe water to drink it it, it boiled the three minutes like I said some people say you only need to bring it to a boil but it boiled for three minutes that's on the safe side that is good to go that is that passed that test it did take two fuel cubes though so now I want to try these other ones and see if I can boil fast uh, boil the water with one cube and uh, well then obviously I'll be switching brands but uh, I'm gonna see what happens so I'm gonna take this off let the fuel cube burn out I'm gonna start I'm gonna let this let the cup cool off and start with fresh cold water is what I started with the first time I don't know if I mentioned that so I'll get some cold water let it cool down and we'll try it again with the other ones start from scratch all right so here we are with the Esbit brand that I got from uh, I think it was Bass Pro Shop pretty sure uh, we're gonna see what happens with these We've got some uh, fresh cold water and uh, let my cup cool down it's a little while later here and we've got these fuel cubes it's in a little package individually wrapped I like that better that's pretty cool they do have a funky smell to them I don't know what it is some kind of chemically 
enhanced smell. So I guess whatever is in them. But uh, yeah, let's let's uh, let's see what happens first. I'm going to try to see how easy these are to light. I'm going to try to not scrape it. Of course you should, but let's see. You know, if you're trying to do it quickly, let's see how easily these light. Try to just light a corner here. See how it goes. Yeah, she's burning. All right. Drop it down in there. Try to center it up. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can boil water with one cube of the Nesbitt brand. All right, so we're at eight and a half minutes here, and it still has not boiled. Pretty much the same thing that happened with the last one. That one, however, the uh, UST brand that comes with the stove took three minutes and ten seconds on the new one. So, uh, after this burns out, I'm going to stick a new one on here and see if we can get it done in less than three minutes and ten seconds. But at this point, we've proven that with these fuel cubes, that um, if you're going to use these and count on these to boil water to cook your meals or, or sterilize or you know clean your water, or whatever, uh, just think, just remember, you're going to need two of these each time you boil two cups of water. Now, one cup of water would probably get it done, but um, yeah, it's not going to get it done with. Uh, two cups of water in there. That's not going to happen. So we're at uh, nine minutes and thirty seconds. I'm going to go ahead and drop this one on this other one on here. These do burn a little longer than the UST ones, but I'm going to try to drop this on here see if we can just get it to light. And it's of course it's not going to do that because I wanted it to. Kind of wish I could have just thrown it on there. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get it lit without burning myself. Okay, so again, these aren't too bad to light. They're about the same as the other ones. Honestly, they see them like they're pretty equal. I mean, this one also burned about the same amount of time. Also, did not boil two cups of water with one. All right, stick it there. It's burning. It's burning. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can do it in less than three minutes and ten seconds. All right, so we've got a rolling rolling boil I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that at exactly two minutes so that was a minute faster I'm uh, pretty certain that that would continue to boil for three minutes because it's still got about six minutes six to seven minutes on that fuel cube so that should be no problem so yeah there uh that was a little faster you know uh, that being said it takes two of them either way so uh yeah just think about that when you're packing these planning on using them for cooking all right guys so the conclusion to our test here in the keep my five lives backyard studio testing area uh is that the nesbitt brand of fuel cues and the one that comes with the ust uh survival stove whatever they call it they're uh, all things being said they're pretty equal uh, I will note the UST ones didn't really mention this, but on the back of the package for the Nesbitt ones, it says, depending on conditions, one large cube, 0.5 ounce, will bring one pint of water to a boil in approximately eight minutes. That, well, we find out that's not true because a pint is 16 ounces, that's two cups, that's what we were boiling. Uh, it took two cubes, one in nine minutes. The Nesbitt was two more minutes, so that's 11 minutes. And that's, Three more minutes than they say. Not a huge discrepancy there, but uh, you know that's going to be affected by altitude and weather conditions and stuff too. So it's going to take two either way. Uh, don't trust what this says. Don't plan on bringing one of these. Bring two of these for every meal you're going to cook. Uh, that's my short video today here in the backyard studios. And keep my five alive. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment. Let me know if you like it. Let me know what I should do different. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.